Okay. So in pediatric orthopedics, we have a lot of different kind of uh, pathologies uh, coming from birth. Most of them have congenital reasons, and we are just trying to understand what's going on about the patient in the patient and what's the problem, what's the pathology. In the past, we are not so very clear in in in, in our uh, country and in our specialty, but now. We are sure that we have a lot of, uh, we are very lucky and we just, uh, we have chance to work with, with very, very big guys in, 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 in all of the world, in, in the USA, especially Dr. Paley, uh, Dr. Dror Paley, I just want to thank him, uh, many, many thanks to help us and uh, just to uh, teach us everything, whatever he has. So, so one of the biggest problems in our clinics, in our in normally, in our patients, uh, some of them have some uh, congenital deformities about uh, limbs. Uh, some of them have bony problems with the legs. And in the past, we don't know what's going on and how to treat. But now, uh, we are very, very uh, sure and we can really treat them in a, in a very, very special way. Uh, one of them is uh, in our clinic is uh, one of the patients is as you see is uh, fibular hemelia. This is very rare but really tough disease and it really affects all the life. In the past we don't have any solution for this. Three fingers in ankle is not, is a big problem. A very short leg and knees just located for the lateral side and uh, about problems hip and he has about a lot of problems in the knee ligaments so we, we know what to do uh, and we just create a treatment plan for just like for 10 years especially and this is all about uh, uh, lengthening and surgical treatment of the ankle hip and just to make him grow up very safely uh, so this in the beginning we just I want to show you how the patient is coming. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the operation room, we, just, we, we are just examining everything very clearly. Where is knee, where is ankle, where, is, where are the fingers. So everything is just, we want to see everything uh, under anesthesia. And then uh, we just do the ankle surgery first. Uh, the surgery is very interesting. Its name is super hip. Uh, it's an anonym. It's a, it's a combination of some uh, words, but it's super, it's really super surgery. And uh, first in the beginning, we do the ankle. We just uh, treat the ankle and just make him to walk on his leg, uh, on his ankle. And he's only, most of them has only uh, three fingers, but it's enough for us. Uh, so it's just the beginning surgery, but the most important surgery. And after the surgery, uh, let me show you this one. Okay, so after the surgery, the same leg you see is very straight, and uh, heel is on. He, he, he can walk is uh, walk on his heels, and uh, everything is on its way, but only short. So now we are ready for the lengthening. This is another part. So in our clinic, especially there's a pediatric orthopedics. Uh, as you know, I'm, my name is Ali Fuad Karatas and uh, I am dealing with pediatric orthopedics more than 15 years. And uh, this is my uh, one of my this is my uh, one of my most of the patients' uh, data coming from uh, very very experienced in this area. So I have a lot of more than 100 patients like this, and just, just now we are. We know what to do. It's a very good plan, and just we make him straight. Just make him straight on his heels, and then the second procedure is about the lengthening. We have, we are lucky. We have very special computer-assisted uh, devices for lengthening. Uh, this is this is external fixator. This is uh, this has a very specific and unique uh, hardware. This has, and this works with uh, computer-based, uh, and uh, it, it doesn't make any mistake. Uh, it is very safe, and we can teach 
pay, uh, to the family how it works. And we control the patient every 10 days. How it's, how it's lengthening and we just want to see the bone quality. So whenever, I mean, something like 8 centimeters here, we will see, I mean, uh, we can length 5 centimeters, 6 centimeters. It's about the leg position. And whenever we will, we want, we feel safe and we say enough, uh, we will stop the lengthening and then just make him on this orthosis and then just start rehabilitation and follow up for like 10 years. It's like every two years we will do the same lengthening until 15 or 16 years and then it's over. So our aim is uh, both length equality and safe walking and just walk without uh, walking safely uh, in everywhere. Uh, we cannot uh, make it very perfect. Uh, this is congenital this disease. Some bones are missed. Some bones, bones are didn't uh, occur very exactly, but he can walk in his orthosis very safely. This is uh, our aim. And when, when we want to see the x-ray, just close this. Yes, yes. Uh, go up. I want to show how it looks like on the x-ray. 